Welcome to Smart PTT Tutorial Collection. In this video, we will describe location services available in Smart PTT. Which map types are supported by Smart PTT? How to find subscriber on the map? How to track movement of subscriber? What is geofencing and how to use it? How to create a simple automation based on location data? And even more. Let's begin. Smart PTT supports a set of offline and online map options. Online maps are provided by Google and OpenStreetMaps. Offline maps are represented by vector maps in Polish format, OpenStreetMap, MapInfo, and a variety of raster maps, which can be generated from user-provided pictures and drawings or made by Elcomplus on request. Offline maps on request will be collected from OpenStreetMap and will support zooming just as their online counterpart. To allow Smart PTT to request subscriber location, just open the settings of subscriber by right-clicking it in Radio Fleet, opening the Location tab, and enabling the GPS checkbox. In the same window, enable the needed request option. Periodic location update, for example, once per minute. Update with distance interval, for example, once per 100 meters. Update on each telemetry pin status change. And update on emergency. After selecting all needed update options, save the new settings, and after some time needed to request the location for the first time, subscriber will appear on the map. Sometimes, however, subscribers will appear off-screen, if the map is zoomed in to some other place. In this case, you can open subscriber actions and click on Find on Map option, which will move the map to show the subscriber. You can also find subscriber on map using the call window of that subscriber. To open call window for subscriber, just double-click the subscriber in Radio Fleet. In the call window, you will find buttons for all the same actions. Click on Final Map button and the map will show you the location of subscriber. Now that you have subscribers on map, you might need to know where those subscribers were at specific time or see where they went during the day. To check on that, you need to open the map menu and go for option called Show Track. In this window, you can select any subscriber in the system, pick the color and thickness for the line to draw the track, and select the needed time period. Well, this track has some loops and is not easy to read. Let's animate the track and see it in action. Menu Map Animate Track will bring up the track animation window. Here you can view detailed description of each point of the track, and if you click on Play button, the animation will show you exact positions of subscriber at specific times. Now you see how subscriber moved. Geofencing will allow you to control how subscribers move around the map with geofencing zones. The process of geofencing zone creation starts with zone drawing. Clicking directly on map, you can create a zone of any shape and size. This zone can be used to create basic automations in radio network. Settings, rules, Positioning rules will bring you to rule management interface. Possible location rules include speed control, control of amount of subscribers in specific zone, location data availability control, for example, when subscriber resumes location reports after a long break or stops sending the location data, and finally, zone or route entry and exit control. This video shows usage of zone entry rule. To set up the automation, you need to pick subscribers which will be affected by the rule and the geofencing zone for which the rule will apply. Then, you can pick the actions which will be performed automatically when mentioned subscribers enter the specified zone. Automatically sending text messages to subscribers, playing sound to notify dispatcher about the situation, changing radio status, showing radio on map, and much more different actions are available as the outcome of the rule activity. The control zone used in the rule can be edited without need to recreate the rule. To modify the zone, you can click on Edit button near Zone Name in Geofences view. Zone will become editable. You can drag the points of the zone and add new points by dragging the transparent circles appearing on zone sides. After, after the edit is finished, click on Save button to save new look of the zone. A couple of minutes later, subscriber enters the geofence. Sound is played on dispatcher and subscriber is assigned a specified red status, adding the red outline on map for this subscriber. You can see that clearing the subscriber status removes the outline as well. This can be used to mark subscribers and to start further automations. 
while working with the map you will notice that you need some sort of shortcut to bring map back to a set of specific points, as those are your points of interest. Via points of interest view you can create a link to specific place on map and mark it with a picture if you like. After saving, new button will appear in points of interest view. Clicking on that button instantly brings you to previously saved point, providing a quick way of finding places popular in your radio system. And if you do not need the picture on the map, just uncheck the checkbox. Button will still work, and the map will be clean. Smart PTT provides some options for location services to fine-tune the system to suit your needs. Menu settings, positioning systems, stores all available additional options. Here you can set validity period for user location, in other words, how long the acquired position is accounted as valid. Accuracy radius will allow you to filter out the coordinates with too low accuracy and not show them on map. Locations can be turned into actual address data by means of Google or OpenStreetMap services. Data format will allow you to set coordinates format in convenient way, if you prefer to see degrees, minutes and seconds or UTM data. System of units allows to switch between kilometers and miles, and speed allows you to pick the speed value, which will be more useful for your subscribers. Also, you can decide how much location data will be stored in database with truncation options. You can always get more information on SmartPTT on our support portal support.smartptt.com.